as a British citizen, not just as a member of the House of Lords, I feel a sense of shame, actually, that um, our foreign policy isn't as ethical, uh, driven by human rights defence as much as it should be. So um, in my privileged position as a parliamentarian, it's for people like me and other parliamentarians who share my sense of shame and um, a lack of fairness that we fight this but you know uh, battles for human rights can you know uh, take place over a period of time so I'm optimistic that with uh, the work of uh, civil society of activists and those of us in Parliament whether it be in the Commons or the Lords fighting and holding to account our government for funding potential human rights abuses in Bahrain that eventually we will win. The torture is continuing but we will battle away until the British uh, government's policy uh, is based on morality and human rights and not trade first. These are people who are putting themselves in the front line whose rights are being uh, taken away, whose liberties are being taken away, who are going through torture. But through all of it, the Bahrainians will never be able to take their dignity and their approach that people should have the freedom to express themselves and be who they are. So my kind of view is I, I look at them with um, great admiration.